Welcome, race fans, to Watkins Glen for a late model race. That's right, late models on road course. 41 of them lined up here for round number four of the FARC Black Breaks Super Series. If that uh, sounds a bit odd to see late models on a road course, and it's not that strange. Um, modifieds have run here before. Watkins Glen gets used by a lot of different cars uh, fairly often, so. This round will begin the New York State swing for the Super Series late models. Riverhead Raceway will be the next round. Uh, we got 41 late models here ready to go. Uh, all, a majority of Super Series competitors, but we have a few of our Bum and Beaver Brewery Tornado Alley Tour regulars here as well. Pretty big cash prize on hand here at Watkins Glen this weekend that's tempted some of our more Midwest-based competitors. So from the Tornado well, Alley from the Tornado Alley Tour, we've got a uh, let's see, going down our entry list, Blake Chandler, the second car Anderson. for Powell Motorsports. Uh, he'll be joining his uh, teammate Ben Worthington in the 38. Uh, we got uh, Taylor Brillen. Andy Anderson. Andy Anderson, yes. Uh, then Taylor Brillen and Mindy Gunn. Arnold Pine Racing helping out the Mintberry Berserkers uh, this week, getting their car to the track. Uh, of course, uh, the Berserkers have, uh, have purchased some equipment from Arnold Pine Racing. Uh, we got... Uh, who else... Cody Richards in the 53, former low dollar series competitor. We hope uh, we're expecting some of our former low dollar series drivers to have a pretty good showing here in qualifying. Plenty of road courses on that schedule. Not to forget there's guys like Jim Kidd um, in the field also have Master Cup experience, which and TM Lights experience, which um, could make him a threat. Although uh, road course is not exactly his specialty, but it uh, will that will probably. Uh, Put him a little bit further ahead, and then you've got um, open wheeler Ryan Gold in the field in the, in the 91. So uh, that could be, uh, he's going to be a big one to watch also. See, so Xander Massey and uh, uh, Eddie Vero, also in the Tornado Alley Tour, have shown up here. And uh, also, when we mentioned people with Master Cup experience, I forgot to also mention um, uh, Bobby Porto as well, uh, who's been still added in a couple of uh, one-off appearances. Right now on top of the boards is uh, Mindy Gunn. That car, a little bit OP, but she's got Link sponsorship, and I, and I imagine that comes with a hell of a lot of setup notes. I would imagine it would come with a lot of uh, borderline incomp like incomprehensible setup notes depending on a car on the car because they are very no they are very well known for um, uh, supporting each other across um, every discipline. Mindy Gunn, of course, picked up her first Fark Light model victory in the Tornado Alley Tour over at the Grundy County Speedway in Illinois. Is it's a team uh, that's an organization that's just. Um, oozing with personality all up and down the um, all up and down the company Lynx Racing Technologies is um, one of the one of the teams that you could say is sort of uh, showing what a what a team can be what a, a racing team can be not just it's not just they're building the cars they are doing almost as many things in house as possible we're seeing that with the Matthews firm as well who are not from too far away from here in New England not that we're in New England now, but they're not from far away from this track anyway. So our uh, Mindy Gunn has set our fast time with a 114.592. Very surprising. Um, uh, she has started her racing career uh, pretty recently in life, but she's got Ryan Gold on her outside. Not surprised to see him starting towards the front. Burt Rackham, Ryan Gold's teammate. Lining up in fourth, Rackham Motorsports has come out in full force. They are a uh, they're based right here in New York. Very very excited for this race and for Riverhead Raceway next week. Yeah, so Riverhead Riverhead one of the uh, 
uh, the premier short track in the uh, New York City metro area. It's on Long Island. Our fast time is a 114.592. Slow time is a 143.216 from Tom Boyd, and it looks like Dale Underwood, uh, also from the Tornado Alley Tour, has had some problems and did not set a time, but he will still make the start. Yeah, I heard from them that they had some uh, they had some issues with the uh, chassis on that car right before qualifying, and they've just decided we're not going to risk crashing it because they figured they'd be towards the back. But uh, they think they have a better car for the race. So before we do the invert, let's have a look at the Super Series standings coming into this race. Bobby Porto with a 73-point uh, lead over Aubrey Wood and uh, 87 points over Matt Pearson. These top three are the only drivers to have won races this season. Bobby Porto took the victory in the opener at General Grant Speedway in West Virginia, and he won the uh, feature race from the big late model doubleheader Uh the combination race uh, in Quincy, Illinois. Aubrey Wood took the win at uh, Flat Rock after Bobby Porto dominated that race but got caught up with some lapped cars, uh, got tangled up with them, and went into the wall. Aubrey Wood scooted by with in the closing laps to take the win. And Matt Pearson won the Super Series qualifier at, uh, at Quincy. Uh, Matt Pearson... Uh, has been uh, has been racing in FARC for a long time, over 10 years, but uh, he's really picked up, picked up the pace. Won three races in the Super Series last year, so he's uh, he's hit his stride pretty late into his career. Some people would say that he's not the man that his father is, but I think if you just look at the general attitude that the uh, Pearson team has, I think he I think that. Uh, I think he actually fit, he is actually more like his father than people would uh, like to give him credit for. Because uh, only through sheer perseverance is, um, does someone have endure that much media pressure and just not be bothered by any of it. All right, Mindy Gunn set the fast time, but <laughs> she has... <laughs> Hello, Luca. <laughs> 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 well, Mindy Gunn set the fast time, but she's got the invert die in hand. Let's see what she rolls. A 1 on the die means no invert at all. A 6 means a full field invert. Let's see what happens. And it's a 2. Top two rows will be inverted for the start. That will put Burt Rackham up front and Mindy Gunn back to fourth. Bert Rackham and Henry Zagaria, those are um, right up front. You have, uh, who are, don't think uh, anyone had on their bingo card that, that uh, they'd be qualifying as uh, high up as they did. But uh, here we are. Uh, I think the, the Rackhams have had a presence in the Northeast racing scene for quite some time. This is their first, uh, this is their first major t foray into touring. And, oh, absolutely! But happy. I don't think anyone would have thought that they're going to that they're going to be uh, qualifying in the top ten, or with uh, that uh, with that car in the uh, top five, rather. All right, I did the invert. While still on the uh, race screen, the fortunately, the change is stuck. Down at the head of the field, oh, no, yeah, that's not a problem. Because it's it, because when you're on that, it's not writing to the uh, that file. All right, here we go. 41 late models lined up for 25 laps here at Watkins Glen. Burt Rackham and Henry Zagaria on the front row. Ryan Gold and Mindy Gunn, the uh, top two in fast times. Set back after the invert, but not by much. Then we've got Eddie Vero and Jared Vershagen, another Northeast uh, competitor, Northeast based competitor, lined up in row three. Zidane Quackenbush driving for the defending series champions, Gravity Racing and 
of Calvin Walker lined up in row number four. Pace car is off. There goes, uh, there goes the green flag. Zidane Quackenbush making it. Oh wait, got a car that did not make it to the start. Andy Pearson waving off. They're waving it off. Let's try this again. Drivers. That was not an attempt. Drivers. Grand Marshal for yep. today's race. Hello, Ryan. To give the command to get Hi, Siege. Yeah, the, uh, of the field. officials the waved eight. that off. You know, you also you mentioned teams that might, that uh, have a lot of uh, experience, have a lot of uh, information to draw from a lot of places when you talk about uh, Mindy Gun Links. I think you should also extend that to Zidane Quackenbush and Gravity Racing. They're uh, that's another team that's uh, kind of pr proving that uh, like. Uh, proving that they can push the limits of what uh, teams can be, because they're just about everywhere also. It's also uh, also uh, uh, co-ownership of Master Cup team. Watch for car 71 back there. Unfortunately, Gravity Racing's had a slow start on the park side this year. The green flag is back out. Someone got a pretty slow start about six rows back. Let's see if we keep it clean through turn one. No, we don't. Ooh, That's a Nolan nope. Inouye going off. Rachel Hockenbra and uh, car number three, Blake Chandler, blocking the track out of turn one. And it looks like that. It looks like the uh, flaggers are a little trigger happy. That will bring out our first caution of the day. Henry Zagaria up front now. Burt Rackham's falling back to third. Mindy Gunn back up into second place. As they go through the bus stop, more trouble. That's Ralph West, who's going around in the 87. I thought that car was around in the first turn, but I could have been mistaken. That, that There's another red and yellow car that must have been Weiss. It looks like we've had more trouble. Coming out of the bus stop, Kenny George in car 50, and looks like Andy Pearson ran into some trouble as well. Oh, Braden trying to force three wide. Yeah, that wasn't going to work. Ooh, Marissa Reigns goes off. Oh, yeah, Richard's just. No, just ping pong off a couple other cars. That's all. Kind of ran out of space. I think there'd be enough room for everybody there, but it's not always the case. Oh, Holyfield got a big piece of that end. Andy Pearson did yeah. not qualify well, and those are the consequences. Yep. I think he's going to get away with the most... Uh, I think he's going to get away with that one. Because he didn't have a whole lot of time to really avoid that coming out of the bus stop. going to be Henry Zagaria leading back to the caution flag, Mindy Gunn second, Burt Rackham third for shaken fourth, Calvin Walker fifth. While they get formed up behind the pace car, let's take a look at that first corner. Big, big scramble in the back half of the field. Oh yeah. I don't think I don't think Inoue could have gone any further to the inside if uh, even if he wanted to. Somebody was squeezing down on somebody and just ended up left rear uh fucking left rear of uh Inoue. What happened to Dale Underwood? He's way off the pace. Oh, that oh, was the other car. He broke right away. Well, so more problems say, plaguing that 03 car than we had in qualifying. Well, I did say they were having a rough week. <laughs> Gone from bad to worse, and from worse to terrible, it looks like. How did Burt Rackham fall to third? Oh yeah, there are yeah, the other three's already out of it, so
Just got tail happy in one. Yeah, that he is not having a great time with that car in the first couple corners. Holyfield's out of it. Yep, looks like Holyfield and uh, Underwood are going to be the first two cars out. What happened to Ralph West? And he was one of the cars that was in the uh, bus stop dramas, I believe. Oh, yes. Yes, he was the first car. Oh, yeah, I got cleaned out. Cleaned out by the 78, I think. First lap, red mist. Let's go on board with uh, Robin Stephens. Stephens has to turn in at some point, so. But, um, same time, he also didn't exactly have, uh, have the line. Robbie Steffens came across the line in 14th. I believe we're going to go back to green this time. Tom Boyd and AJ Young have hit the pit lane. Uh, several others, both Magic Motorsports cars, Marissa Reigns in the 7, Rachel Hockenbrun in the 06, as well as other cars that were involved in that Whoa. first lap mess. It's okay. Collisions on pit road are disabled. They're fine. I was going to say almost an unsafe, uh, unsafe release for days, but... Yeah, well, we've uh, we got some new safety features on Pit Road, a gift from the Roswell uh, race organizers that have made uh, made things much better in the pits. Hmm. So Henry Zagaria leads the way. They are the nibbling of Jeff Zagaria, a national dirt trucks competitor. Driving for the Dilpair late model team. See a lot of these dirt guys come out and do fairly well in their, um, on uh, some of the road courses. Uh, a lot, uh, some transferable skills uh, as long as they have a uh, um, good grasp of um, the basic technique. It's fun to see we may have another one of those in Henry Zagaria. Billy Bob Childers in seventh place is our first of the uh, former low dollar series. Drivers with a lot of road course experience in the field. They have not had such a hot start. We're getting set for the restart. back in the air. Mindy Gunn on the attack around the outside. Gunn caught him sleeping. Uh, I'm gonna think better about that one, I think. Yeah. She tried. Didn't lose a spot, but... Um... Oh, Burt Rackham's still not, not great on these starts. He's gonna lose the third spot to Calvin Walker. And hold, now he's holding up Jared Bershagen in the 81. Bershagen having a good... He's, he's uh, having a pretty good start here. 
Billy Bob Childers thinking about a move going into the bus stop. Thinks better of it. Ooh, gun. Oh, gun. Yeah, it looks like we're all going to get through it pretty clean. That's good. Still got some stragglers coming. Oh, pace cars back out. It looks like... Oh, oh Tom boy. Tomboy's got some damage. Let's see if those are related. A lot of damage in the front end of that car. Oh! Whoa! That was kind uh, of wow. nice car. Wow. So AJ Young goes wide, slams into the wall. And takes uh, Rachel Hagenbra with him. And Tom Boyd. Um, I got nothing for that one. Cautions out once again. Ooh, gun slams the ball in the final corner. That's going to put Calvin Walker in second place. Maybe we've had more trouble. I'm just a bit too exuberant there to try to get the lead. Oh, Porto in trouble. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay. And Taylor Brillin is pit wall. Well, no love lost between these two. If, uh, if y'all remember the late model finale at, uh, at Bent Twig Raceway, First lap, first corner between these two. They were championship contenders. Well then. Um, I think that's a case of Brillin lifting to try to just coast the thing back to the line and Porto just deciding, uh, I know who that is. I'm going to just not lift off as early. I don't think anyone expected uh, the bright front of uh, Brillin's car to just climb the wall like that. The call to throw the caution for that wreck coming to the restart. Um, very questionable, questionable, but the caution definitely would have been justified for that on the next lap. Yeah, I don't, I don't, th I don't think it makes a bit of difference. <laughs> Oh, Mindy Gunn's going to bring that 35 car in from third. Yeah, someone made the call to bring that car in. Um, may have been wiser to stay out, but uh, just to avoid some of the carnage that happens at the back, but... wonder if that car might not have lasted. Stay, yeah, that's staying the other out there side with that of that. Damage. That's the other side of that. Sometimes your hand's forced. Andy Anderson's also got damage on that right side. Um, that final corner is the Achilles heel for a lot of these late model drivers. Not used yeah. to turning right. Well, not just that. There's all there's also in one of the in one of the other um, categories that ran here earlier. There was a car hit the wall and spewed a bunch of oil like over there. So maybe they didn't have uh, didn't do the best job of cleaning it up, but. Um, also didn't exactly have a whole lot of time to do that either. I think the uh, they had to send a guy out to Carl's for some extra speedy dry. They haven't come back yet. Yeah. Why is Xander Massey in the pits? Problem that a problem that could be fixed if uh, management paid uh, more people to do that. But you know, when uh, you skimp out on on your track workers, that's what happens. Looks like the X car had a tire go down.
going back to green. They got the nine car down off the wall very quickly. But looks like Allison Holiday in the 65 has now had some trouble. Uh, brake failure on the 65. She's going to bring that car to a stop. Smart decision. Tire down on the 53 of Cody Richards as well. As if his day couldn't get worse. I can also see why Cody Richards might not want to drive that car at full speed back to the pits. <laughs> uh, doing that could get a bit um, explosive. Sagaria continues to lead. They've got a uh, new set of rivals behind them on this restart. Calvin Walker lines up second. Jared Vershagen third. But Billy Bob Childers up to fourth. Burt Rackham has dropped back to fifth. I uh, I don't think we'd be surprised if this restart didn't go much better for him. Well, jinx it. <laughs> Is it jinxing if I declare low expectations for him? <laughs> Three wide down into turn one. Ryan Gold making a big, big move. Oh, that was bold. Jared Vershagen looks like he's going to claim second place, now making the move for the lead. Backs Vershagen out of it, though. And, yeah, Vershagen had a... A lot of pressure from behind, it looked like, but uh, he backed out of it, and that gave Walker all the all the momentum he needed. Yeah, Walker reasserts himself into second. Now sniffing, or just straight up inhaling the exhaust on that 25 car. No caution yet. That's pretty good. Oh, but we got some cars off. Oh, yeah. Alex Breyer looks like uh, she's taken a big, big impact with that wall. I think this is... Um... Oh, she got crossed up with the 30, it looks like, of Christopher, Christopher Holter. Yeah, ran out of space. And then uh, all these fools go off. Yeah, probably just reacting to that one and trying not to pile into it in case they, uh, someone would correct it. And whoosh, off they all go. Oh, we got... Oh, Ryan Gold's had some trouble out of the carousel. High hopes for him for this race. Not anymore. Someone else may have. Uh, that... Someone may have high hopes. They don't run into him in the in the paddock later. Uh, that's her car owner. That just took him out. Oh, Amberly Weiss. Teamwork. I don't know what kind of lesson that Burp. that uh, Jacob Rackham was trying to impart on his young protege. But it's going to cost him a bunch of money. Not um, not a not a not the wisest move. But it, among all the chaos, Henry Zagaria holds off Calvin Walker to keep the lead. I think Zagaria is just hoping that this stays yellow the whole the rest of the way, which very well could be the case. <laughs> Eddie Veros made his way up to third place. Billy Bob Chiller's. Still fourth, shared for Shagan in fifth. I think he might have smacked the wall out of the final corner. Hmm. He's got damage. He's got the uh, kind of damage that he'd have. Yep. Yep, just lost a couple spots doing that. Xander Massey finally came back out of the pits and blew it up. Yeah. 
all that time on uh, race sim for Sim Racer X. I don't think prepared him for this scenario. Mindy Gunn, after pitting from third, has made her way back up to 20th. Let's go on board with that restart. Because, uh, she got lucky on a couple occasions. Uh, Pearson with a big dive. Oh, wow. We missed that. And, yep. Now I'll explain that. Diaz she ran up on sends it into the bus stop I think made a little bit of contact with the pie car it was a very special lap that's one way to put it. <laughs> oh, looks like Andy Anderson's had a brake failure. Having a lot of those today. Definitely did not fudge the uh, Pappy AI file to get more of those. I don't know what you're talking about. Despite the chaos we've had so far, only seven cars have dropped out so far. Out of the race are Dale Underwood, Max Hollifield, Tom Boyd, um, Taylor Brillen, Bobby Porto, and now Amberly Weiss and Ryan Gold are the latest casualties. Let's see who's uh, who's going to get a lot of points out of this with Bobby Porto out. Uh, Matt Pearson is third. Where is he on track? Nineteenth. Uh, Not great. Well, it's something, I guess. <laughs> Nolan Inoue and Zidane Quackenbush is up there. I think he's sixth. Jason Bates, also having a great day. He's lined up in 8th. Quackenbush at this point, he'd, he'd love a win, but I just don't wreck it. Don't blow what you got. <laughs> I think he just, whatever, you, oh, whatever you think he's like 6th or something, I think just that would be 
Like, knowing when to go for it and when just taking a sixth would be ideal is, uh... Aubrey Woods, second in points, lines up 11th on this restart. So she's going to be looking to catch up on Porto. Good jump for Zagari on that restart. Oh, yeah. Just figuring it out. Ooh, Walker making a peek. Can't, get, can't get, send it. Rushagan's getting swamped, I think. Um, no, no, maybe he's, not. He's holding steady. Maybe not. He just looked like he just went backwards after that uh, last restart, though. Wasn't a great start, but didn't lose anything. Bates is looking on some on um, 94 car, I think. Can we keep it clean in the bus stop for once? Yes, it looks like we do. Oh. Well, shit. Oh, they figured it out. They've learned something. Will they retain it? Yeah. This knowledge be, uh... Ooh. Oh. That was <laughs> ambitious. Very. And that's... That's another yellow. Yep. Almost made one lap, boys. Almost got it. Not quite. Now, y'all might think this is an especially embarrassing performance for these uh, short trackers that we've thrown onto this road course, but I assure you, it's like this on some short tracks, too. Yeah. Jared Vershagen did end up losing a couple spots eventually. He's back to seventh. Hamilton Porto. Car gained, I'll say for, Hamilton Porto gained a couple spots, like, looked like. Yeah, he was on ninth on, in ninth on this restart. Let's follow him. And he was and he was wrecking coming to the to the stripe, so. already yeah it's a encouraging sign Bates got Ooh. together with Bert Rackham and Wow Porto did not give him any room at all yep uh, Bates' mistake, not his. Yeah, just completely ran him up into the into the grass after that. And just ahead, you're gonna see uh, Billy Bob Childers attempting the pass on Eddie Barrow, just overcooking it. And that's how Porto and Wagonbush gain those spots. Keep your foot in it. <laughs> I'll be just a second. Yep, that. AI line modifier has betrayed car number 16. I don't think Henry Zagaria mines all these yellow flags as long as, uh, 
as long as they stay up front. Should be getting the green again this time by. Uh, it'll be halfway. Will we get more than one lap of green in? Mindy Gunn continues her charge back up to the front. She restarted 20th last time. She is now lined up 15th. Billy Bob Childers back to 13th after that wreck. Aubrey Wood, welcome to the top 10. Burt Rackham, you uh, continue to give spots away on these restarts. Eddie Vero keeps fourth after getting squeezed into the wall by Childers. Have we awarded the lap leader bonus to the pace car driver yet? <laughs> Whatever they're paying the pace car driver, it's not enough. A lot of overtime yeah. today. Zidane Quackenbush lining up third. Trying to, uh, trying to say we are totally a championship team. We did it once. We can do it again. Let's get this season back on track. Well, he's got himself in a position to do that. Pace car is off. Zagaria will see the green flag once again. Back up through the gears as they go down the hill. Calvin Walker looking for the lead. Backs out of it. Zidane Walker Quackenbush. Is. Oh, no. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was very close. Zidane Quackenbush uh, taking a breather, giving up a couple spots. Yeah, I think he's... Might have been uh, unsure if he did uh, too much damage to his own car doing that. Calvin Walker back on the 25's bumper. Will Someone they? Someone went way off, I think. Now Zagaria is going way off. Gives the lead away to the 74. Here comes up Hamilton to third. Porto. And cautions out again. Not, not a surprise. I thought I saw a white car go off in the bus stop, but I could be wrong about that. Watch the battle back to the line and then take a look at what happened. Reports are having a run at the lead if, it, if this actually managed to stay green for... Well, he's going to get another shot at it. For a little bit. Oh, that's AJ Young embedded in the tires. Andy Pearson's got a lot of damage. That, th this has been a miserable day for the uh, six-time FARC champion. Now let's see if those are connected. Got some help Ooh, from Alex Breyer. Yeah. Yeah, he was trying not to, um, trying to save that thing, I believe.
Good job, AJ Young. That was embarrassing. When AJ Young retires and looks at his career highlights, I can guarantee you that will not be on the list. Actually, it might be, considering AJ Young doesn't have very many career highlights. Oh, how... Oh, incorrect. Oh, Do you yeah. remember Berlin a couple of years ago? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, I remember now. One of the most incredible finishes. I think that's going to do the two car in. Yep. I think Briar's going to be out of it, too. Yeah, I think Pearson's just had enough at this point. So, new leader, Calvin Walker, Hamilton Porto. In second, Henry Zagaria back to third. Let's take a look at that restart from on board 71. I wouldn't be surprised if um, Andy Pearson has a physical race control after that. Lost momentum and had to catch his breath. And then got himself stuck on the curb a little bit. Eddie Barrow and Hamilton Porto say thank you very much, Mr. Backbush. Zidane Quackenbush and his father John hail from Canada. I wonder if they are they have uh, investments in the Duck Roll Tire Company. <laughs> of course, his father's got Master Cup experience to um, impart onto him. That's true. And um, perhaps not how he would have advised his son to have taken that restart, but uh, given that... Um, some of the uh, Master Cup drivers are known for being overly aggressive on uh, starts and restarts. Mm -hmm. um, that possibly could have been something he imparted onto him. Burt Rackham and uh, Jared Bershagen continue to hemorrhage positions. They're now in danger of falling out of the top ten. Gavin Montana... Car 29, teammate to Alex Breyer, making himself look much better than that team's primary car. Well, the other part of, uh, to continue with uh, Quackenbush, the other part of that is not only are they aggressive, the uh, stewards will uh, often have things to say if you cause, un if you uh, spin somebody out. So that might have also occurred to um, Zidane Quackenbush. It'll be 10 laps to go when we get the restart, which will uh, take about 10 hours at this rate. I mean, we thought the six hours at the Glen was later in the year, but I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Anderson has also dropped out. He will be the most recent casualty. That's a shame for a lot of these Tornado Alley Tour competitors coming all the way out just to have these problems. Eddie Vero is the first of the Beavers in the lineup. Running in fifth. Oh, looks like Allison Holiday's run into a bit of trouble. What happened to the 65? Ooh, engine failure. holiday
Uh, Holiday's fuel cells doing a bit of dancing. I think the technical inspectors are going to have a look at that. But it's going to be Calvin Walker leading on this restart with FARC veteran Hamilton Porto lined up behind him. Green flag back in the air. Porto got a good run, but um, let's see if let's see if he can make the outside work. Jason Bates, wow, whoa. what a send! Wow, I don't think I think the seventy four didn't actually think that was gonna work. Hamilton Porto to the lead, trying to join his brother in the win column this year, but Calvin Walker's gonna try again, coming into the bus stop. Can't make it work this time. Ooh, Varro's having a bit of an adventure. Gonna lose a spot to Burt Rackham. Whoa! What oh, are you, oh no. Ooh, they a hell you know, out of I'm, that. You know, if I'm Jared Vershagen, I don't cut him some slack the next time he does that. Because <laughs> Vershagen really could have put him in the uh, put him off the track uh, coming out of the bus stop, but he chose not to. I have a feeling he um, may not be so generous the next time. That's jammed all these cars up. But we're still green. We've completed a lap. Miracles can happen. Three wide. And that's Ben Worthington who's joined this fight in the 38. But Hamilton Porto gets away. Jason Bates into second place. Sedane Quackenbush will be third. Calvin Walker has lost a lot of momentum. Zagaria is going to lose a spot to Aubrey Wood. Looks like Bates might be catching the 42. The two FARC veterans at the front of the field. Oh, never mind. Ben Worthington really smacked that wall. Nolan Enaway all over the back bumper of the 25. Aubrey Wood making the move on Calvin Walker into the bus stop. Can't get it done. Zagaria into the side of the 31 as they now come after the 74. Oh, we got a caution. Well, that was fun while it lasted. All good things have to come to an end. Rachel Hockenbraw's <laughs> off in the bus stop. Wonder if the caution's for her. Yeah, I think that's a safe bet. Oh, wow. 
something happened in front of her. Or she started something. We'll see. No contact between Bert Rackham and Jim Kidd and Hawk and Bra. Just, uh. Just. That just, kept, that just caught her by surprise. 94 just. sniped Kidd. Completely alongside him and still. ran him off. Rachel Hockenbra having some fun with the tires. Ooh, Matt Pearson in the back of the 949. As we take the caution. Hamilton Porto continues to lead. Jason Bates behind him. Sedane Quackenbush in third. Calvin Walker fourth. Aubrey Wood welcome to the top five at the expense of Henry Zagaria. Nolan Inouye lines up 7th, Ben Worthington 8th, Eddie Vero is back to 9th, and Robbie Steffens, son of Bob Steffens, now up into the, into the top 10. Billy Bob Childers is 11th, Gavin Montana 12th, Mindy Gunn continuing to climb back up through the field, but she's running out of time. She's back up to 13th, though, when she was down to the 30s. Uh, after pitting from third, Jacob Rackham, 14th, Matt Pearson, 15th, Ralph West, 16th, Marissa Rain, 17th, Jared Brashagan. Uh, he's had a miserable couple of restarts. He's down to 18th. What actually happened to him? Let's have a look at Mr. Verschagen's drop through the field. Yeah, he had to check up for uh, whatever that was between Vero and Rackham. That was interesting. He's going to get passed up by Robbie Steffens, Billy Bob Childers. Bert Rackham might be holding up the 81 for the sake of his father. Uh, Jacob coming up the inside. Oh, and a little contact with Matt Pearson as well in the bus stop. That costs him even more spots. At least he's kept the car pointed in the right direction this whole time. Yeah. More than we can say for some others. Oh, Bert Rackham. A big fat thorn in Vershagen's side finally gets around him. Yeah. Uh, somebody pitted, I think. Because now Gun's up to 12th. Might have been the 16. Yep. Yeah, uh, Billy Bob Childers. Oh, tire down on the 16. That's why he gave up 11th. Yeah, that would explain that. Oh! Porto's in the pits! Do you have an issue? Brake problems! Oh no!
Big F. Oh, any overshot is stall as well. Well, that'll happen. And it's just occurred to me that I've been forgetting to give laps back. Oh well. Uh, we can do it for Cody Richards, I think. I don't think anyone's been off the lead lap anyway. Yeah, Cody Richards is the only one to lap down right now. I can't think of anyone else that's been off the lead lap all race long. <laughs> Alright, we'll uh, give him the wave around. Coming to the green flag. Hopefully the rest of the field knows he's coming. Looks like it. So that's going to put Jason Bates up front. I think uh, he's only got one victory here in the FARC Super Series. Going to try to make it number two. And I'm a really hungry um, Sedan Quackenbush right behind him who's looking for another shot at the another shot at the. Pace car is off. We're going to have five laps to go. Aubrey Wood making the move for third. Nolan Enaway looking for fifth. Did everybody make it? Looks like we did. Oh, AJ Young. Hang on to it. Looks like the 949's got some issues. Oh, yeah, he's parked it. Yeah. I think that whole team is, uh... Had a bad, the whole team is going to have a very awkward ride home. We stay green. That car is uh, safely in the bus stop. Aubrey Wood finally completes the pass for third. She's going to have a real good point stay if she hangs on to this. I don't remember the points distributions in the series off the top of my head. I think a, f a full race is 50. So she's not going to overtake Bobby Porto. Top three have checked out. Let's go on board with Aubrey Wood. And that was a tire failure on uh, Jacob Brackham that did him in. Calvin Walker trying to hold off Ben Worthington. Mindy Gunn's back into the top 10, coming after Henry Zagaria for what will be the, I think, the seventh spot. Yeah, Mindy Gunn picks, picks up seventh. Great recovery for the 35 team. Hamilton Porto taking the walk of shame back out onto the track. Uh, yeah, I think he's gonna be. Uh, he's just gonna. He's gonna be rightfully a little bit uh, disgusted. Nothing he could do about it, but. Aubrey Woods sniffing second place coming into the bus stop. Awkward. Yeah, she thinks better of it. Hello. 
Oh, Zidane Quackenbush. Choke. Oh no. Hello, Vinny. You're just in time for the last three laps of Park Late Models at Watkins Glen. Aubrey Wood has just picked up second place. Oh. And it looks like she is faster than the 51 of Jason Bates as we come to two laps to go. Oh, that's not going to help him. Jason Bates just a tenth better that time by. Aubrey Wood did get held up a bit, trying to make that move into the bus stop. Oh, hello, Jacob Rackham. Nice to see you in front of the leader. Jason Bates and Aubrey Wood looking for their second wins in the Super Series. Oh, that's going to be awkward. The Rackhams are, have just been a menace today. Oh, Calvin Walker way off the road. He's going to give up third. Nolan Inouye, I think, almost got turned around by the 35. Yeah, they're having a um, an overly eventful week. I think is the polite way of saying that. I think they just want to get out of here and onto Riverhead. But At white this flag is being shown for Jason Bates in the 51 in the car owned by James James West out of Ohio. He's got. Got to hold off Aubrey Wood for just one more lap. Third place is Ben Worthington. Mindy Gunn is back up into fourth. I wonder if they're just going to be looking at each other after this, just wondering how the hell they, uh, they got this one, and then uh, if they should just be happy that they did. Just, <laughs> and <laughs> just you know, steal one. Jason Bates qualified all the way back in 22nd, but has uh, slowly worked and lucked his way up to the front. Aubrey Wood not making any gains on that lap. Jason Bates has just one more corner to go. Oh, we got a crash coming to the line. Oh, Jason no. Bates takes the victory. Aubrey Wood is second. Who's gonna get third? Zidane oh, Quackenbush steals it. I think Worthington maybe, and then Gun. Yep. Zagaria, Worthington, Zagaria, Worthington Gun. Gun. Then Gavin Montana, Calvin Walker, Ralph West, and Matt Pearson round out the top ten. Uh, wasn't the V8 up there before the finish? <laughs> and oh, of the course... The V8 had, a, uh, had a, an adventurous day. No, it says they're seven seconds back, but hadn't finished the race. Uh... Oh boy. Oh! That would explain well, that. That'll do it. Looks like, um, Eddie Vero's smashed it on the final lap. Let's take a look at that before we revisit the final corner. Yep, I think he just planted it in the in the tires. Yeah. That uh admittedly kind of feels inevitable. I'm back. Vincenzo, I'm gonna kill you. Weird. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> to you too. And Jacob Rackham <laughs> just gets into the wall, sweeps up Ben Worthington, blocks the track, and there go Quackenbush and Zagaria to steal some top fives.
Uh, something happened to somebody else. Oh, Vershagen had an eventful final lap as well. Let's see what happened to him. Yep, he and Billy Bob Childers also decided to go play in the tire wall. Well... If that were gravel, he wouldn't have, uh, done that. He would have just gotten stuck. Good thing we have the pavement of safety. This race comes to a merciful end with Jason Bates in the uh, Master Bates number 51 going to victory lane for the second time in his FARC Super Series career. He matches the number of victories he grabbed in his Fark Low Dollar Series tenure, two. Not the best track record, but he's stuck around. He's persevered. Incredible. And if you, uh, if you, uh, the sport has a way of rewarding you when you stick around long enough. Very credible. Four wins is more than a lot of, four wins is more than most other people. <laughs> And uh, there's your top 10. Jason Bates, Aubrey Woods, Dan Quackenbush, Henry Zagaria, Ben Worthington. Uh, hangs on to fifth place. Could have been third had Mr. Jacob Rackham not happened. And it's Mindy Gunn, Gavin Montana, Calvin Walker, Ralph West, and Matt Pearson rounding out the top 10. So double top 10 for the James West team. And uh, at least one Pearson. Had a good day out of that. Great recovery for Mindy Gunn as well. And, uh, and a good job by Gavin Montana to salvage a top 10 for that team after their primary car driven by Alex Breyer had an eventful day. Let's open up RPM and get these points done. Uh, crap, when does this take place? Today. Let, let's call it May 20th. This is why I, I, have, I have all of that filled in well in advance so that I never have to ask. All right, looks like everybody scored correctly. And now let's look at our standings. Oh God. What? I, if you want to know how, if you want to know how long it's been since Sappy has been updated, um, it has an option in there to uh, send your now playing info to MSN Messenger. What? It's a music ah! player. Oh, <laughs> oh my that's gosh! How, but that's how old that that's how old the last version of it is. Yikes! All right, Bobby still works. Bobby Porto still comes out on top, but 
Uh, Aubrey Wood has closed to within 29 points. Jason Bates is third, 48 points back. Sedane Quackenbush is fourth, 54 back. Matt Pearson has fallen to fifth, 68 points back. Uh, Nolan Inouye is 75 back. Henry Zagaria is 87 back in seventh place. Marissa Reigns and Rachel Hockenbra, the two Magic Motorsports cars, make up eighth and ninth. And Ben Worthington rounds out your top ten. He uh, could have come out in ninth place, I think, but Mr. Jacob Rackham had other ideas. Ryan Gold is uh, is 11th after an eventful day for him. Uh, he's left wondering, why? Why did you do that, Mr. Rackham? Calvin Walker, 12th. Christopher Holter, 13th. Tied for that spot with Ralph West. Billy Bob Childers, 15th. Hamilton Portos, uh, three-way tie for 16th between himself, Kenny George, and Max Hollifield. Then it's Calvin, Kevin Montana, 19th. And a three-way tie for 20th between Robbie Steffens, Andy Pearson, and Jim Kidd. Uh, thank you all for joining me. If you are here live, otherwise you'll be watching this on YouTube after the fact. I apologize for the lack of activity lately, but um, when you see the Fark Low, Low Dollar Series round at the Carl Superstore in Jonesboro, the next race for that series, you will see why it took so long to get that going. I'll just leave <laughs> it at that. Oh, I'm, boy. I'm, I'm pretty proud of how that track is looking right now. Yeah, there's been a lot of exchanging of assets between that and Gravis City, so, <laughs> you know, if you know, you know. Is that happening before or, our, or after our skits there? Um, I'll have it done before the arse race. Yes. Okay, because that's happening, I think, two weeks from now. Uh, we got Hattiesburg tonight, then Houston um, uh, next week, and then it's Carl Superstore, I think. I'll, uh, I'll have... I'll have uh, at least all the uh, cosmetics and geometry done and sent Herb. off to you. Maybe you could help out with the AI, pretty please. Noted. <laughs> I'll take care of the AI. <laughs> but again, thank you all for joining me. I'll uh, see you all next time. Glad we got through this.